Welcome to Motor Vault Vehicles for Enthusiasts. I'm Josh, and we've got a 1989 Porsche 944 S2. These cars are great front engine German touring cars. They've got all the right Porsche and Volkswagen engineering, and they were the affordable version of the 911, and they still packed a wicked punch. Let's take a better look at this 944. Introduced in 1982, the 944 was the US market upgrade on the 924. And the reason why they did that is that horsepower and speed kept going up, up, and up. And that's why this car came about. More power, more speed, bigger body, ready to rock and roll all the back roads, all the highways, and it looks absolutely fantastic the heart of the 1980s styling, just the right amount of edges and curves. Simple German engineering at its finest. Obviously today there's so many electronics and so many screens and that is something so great with these analog 1980s sports cars. So you got everything you need and nothing more than that. Obviously you've got a little bit of a pop for a sunroof. You've got a blank put radio. And uh, yeah, you've got your air conditioning, you got your horns and a manual transmission for all of the driving fun. Black leather interior, which is great and original on this car. 37,000 miles is one reason why this interior is in fantastic shape. Having no dash cracks, these cars are known to have dash cracking issues. Everything is right where it's supposed to be. The leather is in great shape. And after driving this car, it is a lot of fun. You feel very, very comfortable that you could sit in this car for a long time doing Autobahn speeds or back road speeds. Porsche is known for a couple things. Obviously, the 911 being one. Another is their guards red paint, which has been used on almost every model they have ever had imaginable. And the other thing about these 944s that make them so much fun is that they're not necessarily your typical bubbly Porsche design. You've got a nice bit of edge and flair to these. I love the way this rear end has just a little curve, but it's so sharp, it's so angular, it's so 1980s. Wedge cars were the thing, and Porsche nailed it with this one. The 924, the car it replaced, was a great car in itself, but this made everything so much better. The refinement, the driving feel, the horsepower, the entire 10 yards, the 944, especially the S2, the last iteration, of the naturally aspirated 944 was absolutely perfect. Under the hood is a three liter four cylinder producing just over 200 horsepower and 200 foot pounds of torque. Definitely an increase from the prior 944 and a significant increase from the 924. Just, amount, just the right amount of power where it can get you out of trouble. You could have a lot of fun with it, but it's not gonna be anything crazy like a modern 911 turbo. This is all about just really driving enjoyment and efficiency, and this car does it very, very well. And seeing how clean this engine bay is absolutely brilliant, and the entire car is, because this is a 37,000 original mile car that has really not been touched or messed with at all. It's been lovingly maintained. Every major service has been done on it. And you can see that not only in this video, it looks good, it looks even better in person. The 1980s had a couple other great things that started becoming popular, including these beautiful boxy flares. The BMW E30 had flares similar to this as obviously uh, we had an E30 M3. This one is even a more of a extreme version of a flare compared to the E30 M3. And then you got these gorgeous 16 inch alloy wheels, multi-spoke wheel design like this became a lot more popular through the 1990s. 
And then of course, you can't have the 1980s without a little something fun up front. Pop up headlights. back to the late 1980s oh probably feeling the foreigner journey vibes all the good classic rock because you're rocking and rolling if you were driving a 944 back in 1989 and this one is as correct and solid as you can get in 37,000 original miles this car has been beautifully maintained it feels all sorts of right the seats feel fantastic the suspension feels really good. The brakes, yep. Yeah, this car is rock solid. It is collector in investment grade, but also a car that you don't need to worry about. You go out and drive it because it is all sorted. It is all right. And it feels absolutely phenomenal. In comparison, to driving the 2014 911, which obviously happened earlier today. These cars obviously are both made by Porsche, but they're not the same. Obviously a couple decades apart, completely different ends of the car where the drivetrain sits. And it's really unique because at this point, these cars were so analog, so simple. You've got your radio, you've got a basic couple of dials. That's about it. But one thing that is the same is exactly how your four center gauges are right between the circle opening on the steering wheel. It is absolutely how the current 911s are, at least the 2014 911 is. But the driving of these cars, so much more raw. You hear more, you feel more, but still a load of fun. Case in point, yes. Gets up and moves when you need it. No doubt about it. All of the right feels for an old car. It handles really good. It doesn't really handle much like an old car. It is sharp, it is nimble. And having that five-speed manual is quite fun because the control is definitely in your hands and in your feet. And then obviously, if you want to feel any bit of nostalgia, other than turning the radio to whatever your local classic rock station is, you look out over that hood, you reach over here, and you turn that knob. Yeah, pop-ups, yes, every single time. I know people call me a child for this. I love pop-up headlights. And if you grew up in this era and you had a car that had pop-up headlights, it's the same thing. It doesn't matter if it's a Fiero or a Countach, it is still freaking cool. And I will die on a hill with that. Pop-up, pop-ups for life. If you were a kid in the 1980s, either your dad, one of your buddies in high school, or somebody that you knew probably had a Porsche 924 and 944 and they were one of the coolest people around town. With this having so much nostalgia, so much 1980s heartthrob, and only having 37,000 miles, this is a time capsule from one hell of a rad era. Check out more content from Motor Vault. Give us a like, follow, and subscribe on our YouTube page, and we will see you guys around for further videos with more cool stuff like the 944.